Here's how to spell a chord given Roman numeral and key. A big part of what you're learning in this semester is how to do exactly this. In fact, this is where a lot of your scales, intervals, and chord work come together. Creating a chord, spelling it, given the Roman numeral and key. So here's how to do it in four easy steps. Now, once you get the steps mastered, you're going to just keep practicing it in different uh, keys, different chords, major and minor. Um, and here we go. So first step is to imagine the scale. You'll be given a scale or a key, and you've got to be able to quickly have those seven notes in your mind almost immediately. So you'll use your knowledge of key signatures to do this. Secondly, you're going to find the root of the chord, counting up from the tonic to the Roman numeral. So you'll know your Roman numerals, making sure that you know that for four, it's one before five, and for six, it's one after five. We'll review that in a sec. You're going to skip count from the root. Once you find the root, remembering that the root is the note that gives the chord its name, right? You're going to skip count up from the root, staying within the scale. Simple. Four easy steps. Finally, you're going to double check the quality against the Roman numeral, remembering that uppercase Roman numerals are major chords, lowercase Roman numerals are minor chords, and lowercase Roman numerals with a little percent sign, a little circle, are diminished chords, and uppercase Roman numerals with a plus sign next to them are augmented chords. All right, so for, for example, in the key of D major, spell the four chord. So first you need to imagine the scale. All right, now here's the scale. We know that it's two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. All right, so now I've got this framework in my mind, just seven notes. Notice that it's a D, that doesn't count as eight. Seven notes. Next, I find the root of the chord by counting up from the tonic to the Roman numeral. So I'm looking for the four chord. Notice that it's one before five. That's how that works in Roman numerals. One before five is four. So let's go. One, two, three, four. So now I know that it's some kind of G. G is the root of the chord. The root of the chord is the note that gives the chord its name. So it's a root is G. Now I'm going to skip count up from the root, staying within the scale. So G, I skip A, and it lands me on B. Then I skip C sharp, and it takes me to D. There we go. So now that's it. The, 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 the chord is G, B, D. Now, of course, if I do this at the piano, I'm going to have a nice time making the sounds. And I can start by playing the scale. Right? And then I can count up. That's one, two, three, four. And now I've got my G chord. And since I've been asked for a major chord, because it's a uppercase four, I know that it's got to be a major chord, and I can just double check, making sure that the quality of the chord that I found agrees with the Roman numeral I've been given. That's all there is to it.